cordial life here on the island of San Cristobal at the Galapagos Islands. It's live for last week episode 180. Let's go! Arr, arr, arr. Welcome my fellow G Walkers to another episode of Laugh from Last Week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So being here at the world renowned Galapagos Islands, we had seen so much already on our first day here yesterday. Including hanging out with not just the travel monkey Nogo El Mono, but with our travel buddies, Ronnie and Christina, at this beautiful beach with the sunset views and the sea lions just chilling, taking it all in as well, and going to this authentic Ecuadorian restaurant and using our limited Spanish to order this delicious food here. Now to this morning, taking an early morning walk, enjoying the same boardwalk and views that we did just last night with, of course, my patented WWF shirt on. We're currently witnessing some more Galapagos wildlife before my very own eyes. Peter, 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 Peter. Before doing quickly the birthday greetings of the day. Starting out with a quick birthday shout out to one of my family friends who I last saw in this Live From Last Week episode. This birthday shout out goes out to you Cha Cha. Happy birthday Cha. We next got a birthday greeting to one of my titas back in the Philippines. This birthday shout out goes out to you Tita Tess. Happy birthday Tita Tess. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my beach volleyball friends who still owes me a beach volleyball game along her side. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Krista. Happy birthday, Krista. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. Anyways, moving on, let's see what else we're up to for our second day here in the Galapagos Island. Guys, yesterday I could comfortably say that my favorite part was meeting live and in person the Galapagos Turtles. As well as going snorkeling in these beautiful pristine waters of the islands for the first time. I also had tried an Ecuadorian dish that is not so foreign to many Filipinos. 
But while I'm here, in addition to taste testing the chontokuro and the frog legs that we had last episode, I had what the Filipinos call Adidas, aka chicken feet. Anyways, in addition to getting over this glass bridge at the hotel, of which had given me Squid Game vibes, if you know what I mean, we said goodbye to our wonderful Exotica Galapagos Island tour guide, Azucena. One, two, three. Gracias, Thank Azucena. <laughs> Thank you for your visit. It's very important for all the people that live here. Bye. <laughs> Before checking out the nightlife here, having some delicious food at a local Ecuadorian restaurant once again, then nighttime sea lion watching, witnessing this cute baby seal make its way towards us yesterday in the evening. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, because there's one, there's a seal here. <laughs> But now, on to today, having yet another busy day ahead of us. Quickly doing a morning visit to the sea lions here on the beach. We're going on another popular tour around the island of San Cristobal. With many snorkeling and wildlife watching opportunities. Of which is the excursion that they call here, the 360 Tour. <laughs> Yesterday, hitting up several places on the 360 tour, including Bahia Rosa Blanca for shallow water snorkeling with sharks, Punta Pit for bird and booby watching, Bahia Sardina for post lunch relaxation time. A picturesque view through Cueva del Brujo and going to kick a rock for some deeper water snorkeling. As well as catching a fish in the middle of our tour. My favorite stop of the day would probably be Rosa Blanca where I had a great time being in my happy place. Swimming with the one, the only, Galapagos Turtles. But guys, for a full highlight music video of that event, you'll just have to check back and tune into next week's Live from last week episode. Anyways, last night wrapping up our last sunset to view here at Playa de los Lobos. Watching yet another baby seal make its way toward us. Pull this up now. Oh, it's looking at you. It's looking at us. We had finally gotten a picture of an indigenous booby 
with it unfortunately being just an ad for a local travel agency. But yeah, finishing the night with an evening stroll with Ronnie and Christina, the wife and I went back to the hotel to rest up before waking up early for a nice morning stroll where we made it our mission to try to find some blue-footed boobies before we left the island today. So, after saying good morning to several species of animals, Yep, you get one, two, three. <laughs> as well as humans throughout our search today, even thinking that we may have saw a booby fly over us at the port that we were at, we were lucky to run into Christina, who convinced us to join her on a random water taxi to try to search for these boobies with a local. And after riding in a boat around the pier for about 30 minutes or so, just off the coast of the water, this is what we saw. <gasps> we had finally witnessed a blue-footed booby in person. Much thanks to our water taxi driver for helping us achieve that achievement and for helping us scratch that off our lifetime bucket list. Then, after celebrating at a local coffee shop with this iced mochaccino and heading back to the hotel with Nogo El Mono, having him guide us to edit some Laugh From Last Week videos, we arrived to the airport to say our final farewells to the Galapagos Islands in order to fly in today to Guayaquil, Ecuador. So yeah, after getting settled in to this river garden hotel in this city, we decided to get some Italian food at this local place nearby called Il Napo. The fungi is good where we opened up our time here cheersing to half-priced margaritas, then taste testing this heavenly pistachio cheesecake. And I was ready to go swimming. And I was like, let's go. And then I was like, you know what, I'm hungry. Try it. <laughs> we next explored the streets of this downtown city, getting a nice video of me being a beautiful butterfly and trying out their famous Aerovia cable car transportation system for under five bucks round trip, where we were able to get a couple of these very scenic views from our gondola for us to evidently enjoy. But now, before we wrap it up for the night, checking out the rooftop patio swimming pool at the hotel, we quickly have a birthday greeting to one of my Titos out there. This birthday shout out goes out to you Tito Bong. Happy birthday Tito Bong. We next got a birthday greeting to someone who helped me orient as a CA during our Neo Wyset days. This birthday shout out goes out to you Candy. Happy birthday Candy. And last but not least, we got a birthday shout out to one of my classmates when we were younger, going through Good Shepherd, through to St. Stephen's, through to Holy Trinity. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Marie. Happy birthday, Marie. I'm hoping that all my friends and family members that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So working on Live From Last Week episode 179 footage until 1.30 in the morning, getting up after less than 5 hours of sleep, I went up to the rooftop pool here at the River Garden Hotel to check out the view of a cloudy Guayaquil sunrise which had really given me the same vibes that I had at the Singapore's Marina Bay Sands while I was there, and where I later met up with Ronnie and Christina for a mid-afternoon dip in the pool. Anyways, worried that the wife and I had spent so much money already on our trip, 
with having only seven American dollars split between both of us, we quote unquote set out on a window shopping trip. Walking around here at the local market, the Mercado Artisanal, before continuing our busy day here in this beautiful city of Guayaquil. We had also gone on a Exotica provided tour of around the surrounding city area where we had a very informative tour guide who had showed us just how artistic and historic this city is. We were also able to play with the local iguanas at the park seminario, acquainting ourselves with these beautiful Creatures. It's coming for me. And guys, one thing that I noticed about this city, despite the local and international news reports. I can personally tell you that we all felt really safe walking around here during our travels so far. No matter if it was daytime or nighttime, especially as there are policemen everywhere and all the streets are pretty well lit. But guys, as usual, as long as you're just minding your own business, being aware of your surroundings, and taking usual precautions while traveling in a foreign city, I think if you travel here, you should be fine. But moving on, before I tell you guys about our evening tonight, we just have a quick birthday shout out to one of my cousins who I haven't met up with in a long time. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Jingoy. Happy birthday, Jingoy. We also got a birthday shout out to one of my nephews out there who I haven't seen since Faye and Justin's baby shower. This birthday shout out goes out to you, John Adrian. Happy birthday, John Adrian. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. And now, on to our evening adventures of the day trying to search out and look for the location of the famous 444 steps here. We are on our way to go to the must visit place here in Guayaquil called El Faro de Guayaquil. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
So first of all, let's throw it back to the rooftop of the Hawaii Keys River Garden Hotel for today's opening greeting. Welcome to the first day of June. Happy June, guys! Also, let's go back to the Malacan Waterfront Park for today's birthday greeting. So today, I want to do a quick birthday shout out to one of my elementary school slash high school friends who is also a big UFC fan and a WWE fan. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Brian. Happy birthday, Brian. We next got a birthday greeting to one of my beach volleyball friends who you guys remember I randomly ran into at last year's National Bank Open. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Sonia. Happy birthday, Sonia. We do have a birthday greeting to one of my other volleyball friends who organizes indoor volleyball for the Toronto volleyball community. This birthday shout out goes out to you Errol. Happy birthday Errol. We've also got a birthday shout out to the one and only mother of mine who is one of the best mothers in the world. This birthday shout out goes out to you Tita Mone. Happy birthday mom. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So after a comfy six hour sleep last night, I got up to do a light morning exercise run around the riverfront Guayaki area and witnessing that they've actually got Ecuadorian dinosaurs living in this park. Then, after trying Fruit Loops for the first time as a breakfast in a long while, with the wife and I enjoying our last breakfast in this city, I did something that I usually do when I travel to other countries in the world, searching for a local McDonald's. And after chilling here with my newly found fashionable McDonald's glasses, I actually bought one of these babies an Ecuadorian McDonald's Happy Meal which guys had included an apple juice box some sliced apples both tomato and mayo packets and not just one inside out two slash instamented dos toy but another teeny beeny animal toy a small size french fries and a delicious cheeseburger for me to enjoy. But afterwards I headed to a local park here and after remembering I took a video of me with wings for each day I was here in Guayaquil, I found these wings to fly with on our last and third day here. But moving on, one thing that I did notice while walking around in this city are these cute crosswalk pedestrian signs that when you have plenty of time to cross the road, the person on the sign takes their time walking. But when the time starts running out to cross, you'll notice that the human inside the sign will start walking much, much faster. But yeah, prior to getting ready to go to the airport this morning, with a surprise run-in with these guys during my McDonald's run, <laughs> Surprise! We had our last meal at a local place to try the world renowned encebollado dish, a soup that is a must try when you're here visiting in Ecuador. Mmm, yeah. It's good. Anyways, if you haven't noticed, now at the Guayaquil airport, Waiting for a flight back home via Panama. Getting some alcohol at duty free to ease the sadness of our South American trip coming to an end. I just wanted to take time to thank all these wonderful people that I've been traveling with for the past 11 days here in South America. And for helping us make travel memories that we will keep for the rest of our lives. After getting on a plane and watching the most recent Space Jam movie to pass time on our travels, finally arriving back to Toronto to get home late and passing out for about four hours last night, 
the wife and I pretty much relaxed the whole day today before going to the St. Lawrence the Martyr Catholic Church for Sunday evening mass. Then feeling pretty hungry and going here for the first time in a little bit. We got some spicy dragon to take home today and enjoyed this feast of takeout Asian food that we missed over the past couple of weeks while we were in South America. Today, after still recovering from our 12 days of travel, the wife and I stayed in all day to take naps before coming back to the Rogers Center for the first time since Mother's Day, getting some takeout. Domino's Pizzas, waited in these long lines for the game to try to get my hands on the newly designed City Connect Vladimir Guerrero Jr. bobblehead, only to have my third party Blue Jays tickets be denied upon entry. So after going back and forth about the tickets with customer service for about an hour and a half, with receiving no email link that had valid tickets. I had bought tickets off of Ticketmaster in desperation that I wouldn't get a bobblehead giveaway, but actually eventually getting my own bobblehead before they ran out. Anyways, after finally getting a proper ticket link at around 7.49 p.m., more than 40 minutes after first pitch, we all made the most of our time here with the wife, Allison, and Giselle, cheersing to whatever was in our hands, enjoying some Hagen dazs ice cream bars, watching the Blue Jays game versus the Baltimore Orioles. And unfortunately, with the Blue Jays coming out with a loss, but with this little one making a small cameo on the Jumbotron tonight, and feeling a little better now that we have these collectible bobbleheads in our hands. We'll just wrap up this busy Laugh From Last Week episode right here. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, feel free to follow Jay Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from Jaywalker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there. And we'll see you next time on Live From Last Week.